We have come to the somewhat sizable town of Sasebo, and that is another one of the cities in Nagasaki Prefecture that is like, mm, there's quite a bit going on here as we drove through it. But uh, the reason that we came here is because we found out what their special food is. And every town in Japan is special for like a special kind of ramen or a special kind of like, you know, yakisoba or a special kind of uh, sushi dish or something like that. <laughs> Sasebo is special food, special food is burgers. So we were like, well, we have to go. <laughs> and it is special to the point where there are a whole bunch of burger shops that have been here for like 30 or 40 years, and they have created a burger association that has its own yurakera. And it's a dude with a big burger head and a hat. <laughs> and we have come to a place called Hikari, and it is apparently one of the places that's like popular with the locals and i was surprised when we got here because it's actually sitting next to another burger place and as you go through town there's all these burger places and it's just i don't we're in japan like what's <laughs> what's going on why are there burgers everywhere so we came here and we got a couple burgers and i ordered just the special burger because that's you know it's special and i figured i'd get down on that and the thing that's interesting about this burger is we have a question about what is going on inside. So you've got lettuce and you've got mayonnaise and you've got uh, some vegetables and some bacon. And then there's this guy in this white block here. And we thought it was butter, but I think it's like some sort of just like little square of cheese. Now that I'm touching it, because it's kind of like not falling apart. And then egg and then a patty, I guess, is somewhere in there that we can't see. Yep, there it is. Really small little like McDonald's style patty. So the burgers are fairly cheap. This one is the most expensive. It was 640 yen, so that's like six bucks or something like that. But some of them are down to like 480 yen, like things like that. And uh, anyway, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and jump in. And as usual, it comes in like a wrapping so that when you hold the burger, the guts don't like all just fall out. They stay inside of this little like package. And technically, I think you're not supposed to be touching it with your hands, but I'm not a Japanese burger expert, even though I've had like a million of them in Japan. <laughs> all right. Hmm. <laughs> I'm really surprised. Actually, it's really good. Um, it doesn't taste like a gourmet burger. Like that's been kind of popular in Tokyo and stuff recently where you can get these like really, really good, like high quality meats and stuff in your burgers. This tastes more like, it kind of tastes like a White Castle or something like that. But the cheese, which is what that block was, is popping. And that's what's pulling everything together. Um, the mayonnaise isn't like, eh, it's just mayonnaise, you know, but everything else is working off that cheese. The patty is, I called that pretty good. It's like a McDonald's patty. It's not like anything mega to write home with. And I mean, egg on a burger is always amazing. So that helps out a lot too. Um, I noticed that a lot of the places when we were looking at our magazine at the different burgers places to choose from, were bragging about the bread. And a lot of places made their own bread. It's a bit sweet, but it sort of works with the rest of the flavors of the burger. I would say that it is a little bit dirty, but in a good way. One thing of note about the burgers before I get into this little ball is that it's, uh, we read that the flavors here haven't changed in the last 50 years. So what I'm eating is the same thing that somebody ate 50 years ago, which is pretty cool. Um, you think about McDonald's in that same way. Like I feel like I'm having the same burger my dad had long ago. But these little circles, these little balls, are filled with cheese. And they're called chizu. Was it, was it chizu yeah. ponde? Uh -huh. And uh, ponde is something that we didn't think about, but there are some special donuts that you can get at Mr. Donut called Ponde, and they're just a ring of little balls. So I guess Ponde means some sort of ball thing. I hope to find more Pondes in my life. Oh no! All right, I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I don't know what kind of cheese that is. I know that it's cheese in texture and it's a little bit salty, but in flavor it's just kind of, there's a thing inside of there. 
<laughs> it's not any special sort of cheese. It's nothing, it's not bringing the burger together, that's for sure. <laughs> This video is a highlight from our currently ongoing series in Kyushu, Japan. On screen on the left and down below, I've linked the full video to check out. Make sure you're subscribed for more highlights.